Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm doing a collab video with Karina over at Life's Little Things. Uh, definitely go check out her channel. I'll link all her stuff in the description box below. But she does uh, family vlog type videos, recipe videos, grocery hauls, craft videos, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, collabs. And uh, it's just a lot of fun to watch her. I found her randomly while looking up recipes one day. And uh, I subscribed to her. She subscribed to me. We've been talking. And, we, and she asked me to do a collab. And so I thought it would be fun. But um, my collab today, hmm, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> The, the quest or whatever was to go to a thrift store, purchase some trash, and come home and make it into a treasure. As in like a thrift store flip or a, what's it called? Makeup? Makeover? Makeover. Makeover. <laughs> and uh, I tried. I, I did try. <laughs> I hope that you guys like what I made. Uh, I'm going to show it to you real quick, but the top part's still not dry. I'm running out of daylight. <laughs> I got a, a slow start today to recording it. But uh, I'm going to show it to you real quickly and then I'm going to hop into the, the video of me making it. It's kind of a tutorial but it's a little crazy because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm winging the entire thing. <laughs> but I will uh, take a clip of it and show it to you and then uh, get into the tutorial. Alright, here is my finished craft. <laughs> I think it's adorable. Devin likes it. It's a Santa, or not Santa, a snowman hat centerpiece. I think it's really cute. I thrifted the vase and the plate from it and also the greenery that uh, the flower, uh, the green thing and the pine cone is from. I did purchase um, this stuff but I purchased it uh, previously. I've had it around the house for a while just in my craft stash and the ribbon is from a bow that I used to have and it got all squished up so I just was holding on to it to recraft with. So there it is. The top is wet still. <laughs> I'm waiting for the um, Mod Podge stuff to dry, but it will dry clear and it'll just be glittery like snow. That's the idea, at least. <laughs> Alright, here's the supplies that I got for this craft. I have a paintbrush, some Mod Podge paint, hot glue gun, some glitter. I did get some E6000, but I ended up not using it. This is the ribbons from the bowl that got squished and some greenery. And then the thrifted glass, which is a plate and a vase. So I thrifted the glass plate and the vase from my local thrift store and these greenery things. <laughs> they have a lot of these during the holidays. Uh, I guess people donate them and they sell them. And that's good, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um, my idea is to paint these. So we got to get into painting them first and then go from there. I use some parchment paper to keep my table clean from the paint and stuff and a tip for parchment paper is to crumple it up so that when you unfold it it won't be all rolly like it's still in a tube. It'll lay better and won't be um, rolling up and bugging you to death. <laughs> so just crumple it up and then flatten it back out and it'll lay much better. So I'm going to put them on um, the parchment paper and then I have a little piece of parchment paper again crumple it up <laughs> to put in my bowl so that I don't get paint on my bowl. It's just on the parchment paper. I'm just going to shake up my paint a little. I probably shouldn't have shook it. I should have rolled it <laughs> so that I don't, I don't get air bubbles. But uh, anyways, mix it up a little and then put it in your bowl so that you can paint easier. I'm gonna put a layer of paint on there. It doesn't really matter if it's completely covered. Uh, if it's got streaks and you can kind of see through it, it'll just kind of look more rustic, I think. Or you could do multiple coats if you wanted to, but I'm kind of lazy when it comes to crafts, so one coat's enough for me. Here I am sticking it on my hand thinking that's a good idea and it did work to help me paint it but then I kind of got it stuck on my hand because I couldn't touch it while it was wet. I ended up having to touch it just to get it off and then I touched up the spots that I touched. <laughs> so uh, don't put it on your hand, just leave it on the table. Now 
Now here I am trying not to touch anything and also trying to figure out what to do with my hand. <laughs> Just again, leave it on the table. Once your paint is dry, use a hot glue gun or you could also use E6000, but it takes forever to dry. I think it's just like 72 hours. I don't have time for that. So I just put some hot glue on the bottom of the vase, tried to get it all the way around it. I'm not the best hot gluer. <laughs> and then stick it onto the plate and press it down for just a few minutes to let it adhere. Now you gotta see me try to figure out what to do. <laughs> I was just coming up with all this right off the top of my head. So I'm trying out my different ribbons and seeing which one I think would look best uh, wrapped around the hat. I thought about making a bow, but I don't know how to make a bow. I would have had to Google that. <laughs> so I just ended up picking a ribbon and then hot gluing it to the hat. Uh, it didn't come out perfectly because my vase is kind of tapered. If you had a straight vase, it would have probably um, stuck onto the sides better, but uh, I'm still happy with how it came out. So just pick out a ribbon and hot glue that sucker on there. Okay, now for the fun decorating part. I have these greeneries that I have, uh, that I got at thrift store, and these other two I've had for a while. I'm just gonna take some gate cutters and cut off all the pieces I might use. Uh, it's a little difficult, but I got it. I like the flowers and the pine cones and the little green tree things <laughs> from this. I really like the red berries that I had, but uh, I just didn't think it went. I thought it would be too much red. So I did pick the greenery, the red flower, and the icy crystal thingies, which are also beautiful. I would love to have a whole bunch of those. <laughs> I could decorate with those all day long, they're beautiful. But anyways, you just pick out the stuff you want to use and hot glue it on, trying to make it look good. <laughs> I'm not the best um, designer when it comes to stuff like this, so I was winging this entire process. Uh, I think it turned out pretty cute though. So I just put a lot of glue down. I don't know how much it takes. I just squirt a lot of glue and then hold it for a minute and then if it needs more glue, I squirt some more. <laughs> I had some trouble with the pine cone in a minute, but uh, I finally got them to stick. These ice things are so pretty. I love these. I'm definitely, I'm even saving these little pieces that I cut off in case I want to use them for another craft. Um, I definitely want to get some more of these and just put them everywhere. They're so pretty. Here's the little pine cone that gave me trouble. <laughs> I ended up having to put a lot of glue on his bottom and it's just because he was round and the place I was trying to stick him was also kind of bowed. So it was just an awkward angle. Um, I probably should have put the other pine cone on there just to make it symmetrical, but I ended up just using one. <laughs> and that's okay, cause you know, it's art, it's, it's subjective. But um, yeah, all these other little pieces laying around me, I definitely am saving to use for future crafts because that's how we crafters roll. Here's some Mod Podge that I used for the top. I'm rolling it to mix it up without getting too many air bubbles in it. I've heard that you're supposed to do it that way. This Mod Podge is actually for fabric, but it's the only one I had on hand. I don't have any regular Mod Podge, so I'm hoping it works. <laughs> but it says it dries clear, so we'll see. So I just paint some on the top. I try to get it pretty thick because most people say on craft videos to make sure you have a thick layer. <laughs> Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then I, I had trouble getting to my glitter because that's how I am. I accidentally dump way too much glitter on the top, which is also a common thing I do. And then I just shake off the excess. That's okay. 
Now you can see the white, but again, it's supposed to dry clear, so hopefully it does. And that's pretty much it, what I did for it. And this is it sitting on my table looking pretty. Hopefully it um, dries clear and looks pretty. <laughs> I think it did, I did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? <laughs> but uh, it's really easy craft and you don't have to use glass um, vase for the top part. You could also use anything that's top hat shaped like a, a can. If you clean out a can and use it or anything else around, I don't know. <laughs> Just use your imagination. That's what you're supposed to do when you craft. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it's crazy and I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, I had fun making it. Bye guys.